Welcome to uh, Shark Bites at Island Wings on Southside. Coach, congratulations on your first win. Appreciate how's it, it. How's it feel? I don't know. I just, I'm excited wearing these Island Wings <laughs> polo shirts. They, they look, look nice. Good. They look really they? good. I'm looking at it. So. And then uh, look at this food they got for that us. That looks too. fake. I can't believe that, that's real. It is. It's, uh, that's their Ahi BLT, and I cannot wait till nobody's looking and I can eat it. <laughs> no, it's great, man. It's, it's, uh, it's always good to have a win, no matter yep. what. So walk us through the game a little bit. Uh, how did it feel when you got there? That was, I know some of the players hadn't gotten a chance to play on the nets, yeah. hadn't played in the arena. So I mean, it was the first time on the turf. First I, time for the quarterback, first time for Connor, which you guys will talk to, and first time for a lot of people getting out on that turf. Short training camp, long long plane flight, you know, <laughs> you know John Candy planes, trains, and automobiles to get to Odessa, Texas. Uh, so a bunch of penalties, it was just, a plethora of crazy stuff. And so to walk out of there with a win, I'll You're, take it. You'll take it. So um, give me the pluses and, and, and the minuses. Uh, you know, first game jitters, defense is always ahead of the offense. Sure. Always. You start out a little sluggish. Um, the pods as well as the defense is exactly what I thought it was going to be. Okay. They're, they're, they're good. They're tuned? They're, and they're not, they're good. So. We're going to be good defensively. That's how I play football. Um, I love, you know, I'm an offensive guy. Defense wins championships. And then offensively, I didn't think we played good, which is a good thing. Right. Um, but Connor still threw seven touchdown passes in his first ever arena football game. So if that's a bad football game. If that's a bad way to start, then you're okay with it. it out. So, <laughs> okay. I'm excited. I'll buy that. And, and, and it's, it was hard for me learning them, too, because – you know, I've been with certain players for so long that I'm starting new too. Yeah. So it's it communication wise. Me trying to figure out what do they do well. It's not necessarily what I do well. I'm not the one throwing the passes and catching them. It's what they do well. And I have to figure that out too. So there's growing pains with everybody. Sure. But I was excited. I was nervous. You know, it was like, I mean, I was telling, I think, my kids or something. I've, I've been in over 350 football games in my life, and I was, I was pretty nervous. Pretty so 350 football games, that's a. Uh... That's one or two. That's a lot, man. I didn't think about it. I mean, I'm starting to show my age. I don't know what I was going to say. We, yeah. won't, we won't talk about too much. Yeah. So, after you've experienced what you did playing the Warbirds, you've got obviously a list of things that you want to work on. Talk about that a little bit. Wow, it was a lot of things. And I mean, I don't know what's the top of the list? Something's time. Wait, wait, it's only a 30 minute show, bro. <laughs> you know, it's always every coach. It's, you know, it's humble pie. And, there was things we did wrong in substitutions. There was some blockings we missed. We dropped some passes. We missed some throws. I mean, there were so many things that we can get better at and be consistent with. And it's like I said in the post-game show, if we had played, like, the best game ever. Right. Just, I mean, lights out, and that was the score, I'd be nervous because that, there's no ceiling. We're already, we're already at the ceiling. Yeah, if you were already topping out. On a, on a scale of 10, I'd give us a 3. <laughs> Well, good, so there's a lot of room for growth. Well, for my expectations yeah. of what the talent we have, I honestly would give us I would give us a three. Awesome. Well, uh, that does mean there's a lot of room for growth. And we'll talk a little bit later about the upcoming game. Talk about some of the players that were outstanding. Wow. Uh, you, you know, you'll talk to him tonight. I thought David Justino was just mm -hmm. lights out. The only yeah. kick he missed was we had a backup holder in. Um, so he had a great game with the Deuce. Justino did great. Uh, Cameron Solomon, wow. Yeah. He stepped up. Uh, unfortunate injury to Darian Townsend. Uh, that was that was a little bit of a backbreaker for us, but Cameron yeah. stepped up and really put the team on his shoulders. And I thought defensively, I mean, good gosh, pick one. Yeah. Marvin Ross, Larry Gorman, uh, Ross Jeremiah Blayton. Price, Lights out. David yeah. Gilbert, I mean, all these guys, Khalil <clears throat> McLean, yeah. Jordan Smith, all these guys stepped up defensively, and everybody was a huge contributor. 
uh, boys. And I got a great coaching staff. I mean, I, I really do. We're, I'm blessed. We're lucky. There's not, a, there's not a team in this league that has the amount of coaching experience that I have in this staff that have played the game. All of them. played arena football. Yeah. And they're good, and they know what they're doing, and we're really lucky to have that. Awesome. I think that's where we'll take the time for a break and come back and talk to some players. A season of excitement and fun with the Sharks is here. And it's you, our fans, who give us the strength to fight for victory and our final goal. Your Jacksonville Sharks are back, and they're chasing a ship. Get your tickets today. So welcome back to Island Wings on Southside. We're, uh, I'm sitting here with Daniel, the, the kicker for the team, and this was your first time kicking in the arena on turf with the uh, Nets. You did all right. It went okay. <laughs> and, uh, first one was definitely good. Yeah. Um, so talk to me about the whole your whole experience coming in on that. Um, it was good. Uh, Coach Gibson got us as ready as we could be. Um, yeah, we. I feel like our team gels together well, and we were ready to go, even though it was the first time in an arena and getting used to, to you know, the field format and everything like that. Sure. Well, had you had a chance? You hadn't had a chance to practice with the Nets before, had you? No, sir, because we didn't even have it uh, uh, last year. Right. I'm glad to have them this year. Yeah. So Friday night was the first time you were kicking on the net. Yes. So we got one one night of practice. <laughs> That's awesome. So you did an amazing job then. Um, and you got a deuce, which is always a good thing, right? Yes. How many of those are we going to look forward to this year? Um, Lead the league? That, yeah. That's what. That's the goal. That's the um, goal? Okay. Yeah, we had. We like predictions like that, you know? Yes, sir. I had the first one was a deuce, and then I think the balls might have been a little flat. Um, oh, a little deflate gate going little, on here? A little bit of that. Um, <laughs> and then, like, the fourth or fifth, I got one that was pumped up, and then I hit the, they had flags hanging. Uh, that one was going in. Um, so I, I'll say that. that. Yeah. So that would have been two, but it, yeah. Well, at home, you'll have a chance to practice a little bit more. So we should look for several deuces maybe in tonight's game? I'd say seven. I'd say uh, seven. Good. I'm, I, I like that. <clears throat> yes, sir. Talk to me about your, uh, your journey to the Arena League. Gosh, coming out of college, I, I thought I was done. Because you're a local guy. You grew up in Middleburg, right? Yes, sir. Just, yeah. just south of Jacksonville. Yeah. Um, I thought I was done with football coming out of college. and um, One way or another, got a chance in Orlando. Um, we won't talk about that yes, too much. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm happy to, be, happy to be home. Yeah, I can imagine. So you're going to have a lot of family in the arena tonight? Every, every home game, pretty much. That's awesome. So, you, you quit after college, you were going to say that's it, and then ended up doing a tryout with Orlando, played there, and then decided to come here? Yes, yeah, sir. A family friend who used to coach for the Sharks said to me, you know, you might as well just try out for some teams and you never know. give that a shot. You never know, and that's here, how that started. Here you are. Yes, so, you want to make... You want to make a prediction for tonight's game and then a prediction for the season? I'd love to hear it. Let's say two. I need to get on on a path where two deuces a game is something like that. Hopefully Average. More. Average two. That, okay. that's, that's the goal. And then how many games do we have? 12? 14? Uh, there's eight, 17, 18? I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot of games. I'm forgetting the playoffs. How can I yeah, yeah. do that? Um, well, no. We expect the playoffs. Okay. <laughs> It looks like we're, that's where we're going. We have a really good team. Yeah. Um, Feels that way. Let's see. Yes. It, it looks that way at practice, too. Good. Well, I'm old, so I was around you know, back when the first national championship happened with uh, the uh, AFL and back in 2011. How old were you then? Um, <laughs> All right. I might have been 11 in 2011. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's how old I am. But um, it's got that sort of feeling this year. Uh, the players seem to gel together the same way. The fans are sort of there supporting it in the same way. So uh, 
I, I, I kind of, I'm kind of digging it. So I, I like your idea of an average of two deuces a game. And That's, we have the best fans in the NAL. So. Of course we do. That goes without saying. Exactly. That, that helps a ton. That helps a ton. Maybe they can heckle the other kicker and root for me and, you know. Yeah. It'll always help. Yeah, the Shark Tank is it's not to be messed with, for sure. No. And you got a little bit of experience from that. Uh, it wasn't fun. Yeah, <laughs> as a predator. And, that, you know, we hate the predators so bad. <laughs> I understand. I'm with it. Cool. Well, listen, I... Uh, I'm going to take a quick break here and come back and talk to some more fun folks. A season of excitement and fun with the Sharks is here. And it's you, our fans, who give us the strength to fight for victory and our final goal. Your Jacksonville Sharks are back and they're chasing a ship. Get your tickets today. So I'm back here at Island Wings on Southside Boulevard talking to Damien. Damien, how was that first game for you with the Warbirds? Uh, it, was, it was, it was, we had to get going. Um, it took us a minute. You did a great job, though. Yeah, we did, but we want to, I just feel like in the first quarter, we got to capitalize on more points. Sure. Um, it could have been an easily 75, 80 points pull up. Dude, I thought we could have hit triple triple yeah, digits. Definitely. So, it definitely um, was a slow start, but once you got going, it sounded, it seemed like it started to gel. Definitely did. So you think uh, we're looking at a 100-point game somewhere in the season? I don't know if that's ever been done. I don't want to well, put too much pressure on Connor and the guy. <laughs> Why not, man? Because he already did it. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he already did it. Well, I think it's uh, pretty cool that, you know, things weren't awesome and still got 50 points. That's pretty cool. I agree. Yeah. So talk to me about, like, some of the high points and low points in the game for you. Um, well, um, I've been around with the Sharks for five years now, but this is my first time playing Ironman football. So right. um, just to be able to answer the question to myself, would I be able to block because I'm a natural defensive lineman? Right. Um, so that was pretty much the highest for me, just being able to get that confidence that I can sure. be able to protect the quarterback yeah. along with rushing the pass off. That's all other game doing the Ironman, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That means uh, he's in a lot better shape than I am. I can just say that for sure. <laughs> We'll get you there. Yeah, no, just saying. No, but I mean, that's one of the cool things about the whole Iron Man concept, though, is you, you got to be, I mean, you definitely got to be in great shape. Yeah, that's a question mark I had, too. Uh, would I be able to survive through the game knowing that? Because you get a lot of hits. There's a lot of... And, um, you know, up front is nowhere to avoid that, so it's no. every time. And, uh, yeah, it's, pretty, it's, it's better than I thought it would be. I set out last year because I was like, there's no way I'm doing it. Yeah. But um, now that I'm here, I'm getting to it. Feeling good? Yes, sir. Coach doing a good job on coaching you up on how to how to handle it? Oh, yeah. We got we got, we got have an amazing staff. I mean, um, big testament to them and the things. They, this sure. is the, uh, probably the best the best Sharks um, day-to-day organizations I've been here, I've seen since In I've been the five been years you've been here? That's, that, that says something. Best I was saying earlier that uh, I'm getting a championship – team from 2011 vibes back in the old days I, I was I was here then <laughs> and because uh, the, the fans are hyped up the players are on like on another level feels feels good I don't want to jinx us you know well it's um I, I've won two with the Sharks in 17 and 19 mm -hmm. you know it's definitely a feeling that you can feel in camp. You right. Can feel it, you can see it. You so are you feeling that thing too? I, I feel like we have a chance. Good. Uh, the, the first feeling is the love for the guys. Yeah, and each other. camaraderie. Right. Yeah. And once you can get that along with some good players, yeah. that's when you really start to play for each other. That's awesome. Well, it seems like you guys got a good brotherhood going already, and it's only a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just getting started. So um, as long as we keep winning, we can keep the majority of that group here. Sure. And um, it'll be just get built from there. So what should we look for in tonight's game at the at the tank? Um, I think it'll be, we got a veteran quarterback coming in on the other side, our Bud Nelson, who was there oh, last yeah. year. Um, it'll be- He's gonna be a handful. Yeah, he will. He always is, he always has been. Yeah. I just think you can expect a lot of, you know, we'll, we'll lead with our defense. And yeah. We'll get Connor going. And, and um, the faster we get him going and get him the ball, the more we get him the ball, I think we can beat anybody as long as we keep putting the ball in. Sure, game. sure. So, any predictions? I'm not a big prediction guy. I just want to win. And, um, 
We just want to go one and zero every week. That's the prediction. Just get a win. Yeah, winning always feels better than losing for sure. And on that note, I'm gonna pitch us to the break, and when we get back, I'll talk to somebody else who's uh, knows a little bit about the offense. A season of excitement and fun with the Sharks is here. And it's you, our fans, who give us the strength to fight for victory. And our final goal, your Jacksonville Sharks are back and they're chasing a ship. Get your tickets today. So welcome back to Island Wings on Southside Boulevard for Shark Bites. I've got Connor Blunt, the quarterback with us. And dude, I want to say first, congratulations on a win. Thank you. It was kind of tough start. Yep. But hey, if you got 50 points in your first game with not firing on all cylinders, I can't wait to see what happens when you do. Absolutely. No, I think, uh, I think for everybody, it took a little bit for us to get into a rhythm. Um, yeah. Obviously, being the first game, live hits taking place, um, a new team obviously in the league. And, uh, you know, once kind of once that first quarter went by, I think we all kind of started to click a little bit. Um, the jitters are out of the way. Yeah, yeah. You, you felt the turf now. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So I think, no, once we, uh, once we started firing, um, it, it, was, it was good to see. So, I mean, you're a rookie to yep. arena. So that was your absolute first arena football yep. game. And you didn't suck. Yep. So that's got to <laughs> feel pretty good, right? Yeah. Absolutely. No, limited, I mean, limited, uh, the, the don't suck part is kind of key, right? Yeah, one hundred percent. No, one hundred percent. I think the guys, the guys around me made made me comfortable. The coaches made me comfortable. Um, and uh, like I said, getting that first quarter out of the way. Yeah, O line did you well? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So no, having those guys around me, they made it they made it easy for me. Um, and being able to feed off of each other obviously helps. Cool. Well, tell me what you did wrong that you're gonna fix in tonight's game. Yeah, no, I think uh, <laughs> <laughs> things I did wrong. I think I think overall just um, continuing to get comfortable, right? Like being uh, being new to the arena game um, and figuring out that pace of play. Yeah. Um, just just kind of getting getting comfortable with everything. Get rid of the ball fast. Yeah. yeah. From reads, not hanging onto the ball. Um, continuing to get chemistry with the receivers um, are all kind of those little things that you know I'm continuing to work on and progress. Sure. Um, and obviously, I think. You know, there's more to get get better at than probably you know some other people. But um, I'm always going to be be hardest on myself. So good. Um, that means we'll, you're uh, that means you're trying. Absolutely. No, we'll keep improving in every way that we need to be, so that uh, you know when when those games roll around, those Saturdays or Sundays roll around, we're uh, we're ready. Sounds great. So talk to me about the um, chemistry between you and the and the receivers. Is that starting to feel like it's dialing in for you now? Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, obviously, you know, with with DT going down early. Um, yeah, that was tough. Yeah, especially a guy that works. You know, I haven't been I haven't been around long, but you know, he earned my respect. You know, from from the second yeah. that I that I met him. So obviously, having him go down was tough. But having guys, you know, like Cam. Cam Jackson, stepped up big time Cam, for sure. Yeah, Cam. You know, Jetson and some of those some of those older guys that have been around it um, is huge. And those guys those guys are leaders on the team as well. So sure. being able to lean on those guys and have those guys step up and prove prove their worth is, is obviously making my job easy. Yeah, absolutely. Well, can you can you talk to me a little bit about what you're looking forward to going forward? Yeah. Not just tonight's game, but for the season? Yeah, I think the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is, is having a home game. Um, I think everybody has uh, Everybody said how great of an atmosphere it is here in Jacksonville. Dude, you're not. Um, it's so crazy. And so yeah, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, to so you've this never weekend. been to a Sharks game before. No. Oh, so your first Sharks game is going to be. Maybe the one that I'm playing in. That, that's got to yeah. be. That's going to be fun. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, beyond that, I'm not sure. I just want to continue to improve each week and you know be there, be there for the team and uh, you know improve improve my skills at each week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, and I think that. From what I've seen, you've got all the pieces to the puzzle. It's just putting it together, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I, and I don't know how you guys do it. The game is so fast to yeah. me. It's it's crazy that you get the ball out at all sometimes. Yeah, no, I think that's I think that's the biggest thing in talking with you know in talking with people too is just how quickly it is and, and how you know compared to outdoor football, right, where you've got maybe 
four reads on a play and it's you go one, two, yeah. three to check down. Um, now it's it's fast. It's and quick. It's, it seems like you play uh, you throw more to space than you throw to the player. Yeah. In, yeah, in the indoor game. Yeah. One hundred percent. I mean, coach always breaks it down as you throw to four four different spots on the field. Right. Um, and obviously that that helps when you look at it that way versus. Well, it's, that's, I'm sure it's an oversimplification, yeah. <laughs> but it makes it feel better, right? Absolutely. 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 So, no, it's, it's been fun so far. Do you want to make any predictions about tonight's game? I can promise you it's going to be fun. It's going to be entertaining. Um, we'll, we'll put it all out there. Um, but nothing, yeah. I'm not, I'm not too big on predictions. I'm well, more on preparation. Everybody's the same way. I, I pre you're absolutely right. I predict it's yep. going to be a blast yep. no matter what. Yep. And uh, it'll be first of many in the season. Absolutely. So I'm really looking forward to it. Absolutely. No, I'm excited. Thank you. Well, I'm going to uh, wrap this segment up, and we'll come back right after this short break. A season of excitement and fun with the Sharks is here. And it's you, our fans, who give us the strength to fight for victory and our final goal. Your Jacksonville Sharks are back, and they're chasing a ship. Get your tickets today. Welcome back to Island Wings on Southside for Shark Bites, and I got Catherine Cavallo here talking about, we're going to talk about fan experience. How's that sound? I love it. Awesome. Let's go. So tell me all the ways, all, all the ways that the fans can be involved with the Sharks. There are... So, so many. many ways that fans can get involved with the Sharks. First and foremost, we have an amazing group of super fans. They're right behind us tonight. So every Tuesday night, we start recording at 7 o'clock, and they're here hanging with the players, talking to Coach, having a good time, and we do a good giveaway as well. Absolutely. So we're, ha we're having fun with that. Yeah. So, super fans, an amazing group to get involved with. Shark Nation. They adopt players. The players <laughs> hang out with them. Amazing group to get involved with. And then, of course, our social media. We are very, 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 very active. Some are so active. I'm wondering if they have a life. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy because, you know, yeah. you post something and within, like, a half a second, there's like 10 comments already. I know, right? Isn't that crazy? People are always watching what the Sharks do, which uh, we love them. Sure, we no. Love well, I'm, I'm going to throw this out there. I know, you know, you're, we're on all the platforms, but I want to especially tell people to sign up for the newsletter and to subscribe on YouTube because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff on YouTube this season, if I have anything to say about it. I'm right there with I, you. I might have something to say about it. So talk to me about some of the perks of being a fan. Yeah, so one of the things that Island Wing is doing this season, right here, we love Island Wing, is the no. Island Wing 50. So whenever the Sharks score 50 or more points in a game, you guys score five free wings with your food purchase of $15 or more. And that's awesome. Yeah. Because the wings here are crazy good. All the food is amazing. Did you see this Ahi BLT? Know. That's it nuts. Awesome. Literally everything I've ever ordered here has been so good. You, and, you can't go wrong. The menu the, is like 15 pages. The wing, the wings are baked. There's not a fryer. No there's not a fryer even in the kitchen. So Get you gotta baked. love that. That's Get baked. Slogan. That's their slogan, which is okay with me. <laughs> right. So, uh, what are some of the other perks? So, Flame Broiler gives out free bowls after every game. Okay. Sonati's has cookies to give out every game. We give out some sponsored promotion. I mean, sure. really, it kind of varies from game to game. Sure. Um, this upcoming game, our home opener, is going to be the Showtime Sports Cards player cards. So we are okay. releasing player cards this season. Okay. And if you download the Live Portrait app, you'll get a special message from our players. Your card is going to come to life. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. That's new. That's new. Something new we're rolling out this year. I, I'm digging it. So, uh, and then there are also theme nights. Let's talk about the theme nights to look forward to this season. Yes. What's the first theme night? So our home game on April 15th is 90s night. We're throwing it back. We're going back in time. How old am I when 90s <laughs> is a throwback? <laughs> yeah, we're throwing it back to the 90s. I mean, I was born in the later end of the 90s, so it's still a throwback. Yeah. It's still a throwback. And then after 90s night, we come home for movie night on Saturday. I'm sorry, this game is actually on a Sunday. 
Okay. So it's our first Sunday game. Okay. We're trying things out. Sunday 4 football. 4 p.m. Yeah. Movie night. Okay. We have returning favorites, Halloween, mm -hmm. military appreciation night. Always a big one. Always, always a big one. Star Wars. Yes. Jungle night. Jungle night. Jungle night. Okay, I like that. Um, yeah, I think I've hit all of the themes. Close, and if not, you can go to jacksharks.com and find out, right? Find out, yeah. I think I'm going to wrap this up right now and we'll pitch it over to talk to the next guys right after the break. All right, coach, we're going to wrap it up here at Island Wings on Southside. We're looking forward now. Talk to me about next week or this week's game, tonight's game. Tonight's game, right. <laughs> Wow, they got a great, they got a quarterback. Got a, you know, they probably, from a veteran standpoint, are the best quarterback in the league. And this is a quarterback driven league. So when you think of Arvell Nelson, plus he played here in Jacksonville. Yeah. Arvell can play. San Antonio's coming in hot. They were hot last year at the end of the year. Yeah. It's going to be an unbelievable dog fight. So I'm excited to see how this one's going to turn out. And our defense doing as well as it is, you feel like we've got a good chance to, to yeah. match up? Anytime you have a good defense, you're in every game. Yeah. You know, if the offense starts coming around, we're going to be pretty darn good, but maybe it'll happen tonight, maybe it won't. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I mean, 50 points in your first game ain't bad. It's not bad for playing, you know, we could do that. <laughs> I know. Could've, you could have been 100, win. right? Who uh, should have won? Co Coach isn't going to be happy until there's triple figures on there. Yeah, uh, that's the truth. <laughs> just don't figure, take your foot off the gas, right? Right. right. So what are the, some of the things we should be looking for in this in the game. Uh, tonight's game, we're really looking to see the improvement with, with the quarterback play with Connor. I think uh, he's starting to get to a rhythm. I think tonight's a huge night between game one that I've never stepped on an arena field, never thrown a pass in an arena game, to game two. What is that growth right. from, a, from a player? I'm looking for that. I'm looking to see how we handle Arvell Nelson. Yeah. Um, they got Khalil Rashad, who was a special teams player. Yeah. Player of the year last year. Yeah. He's a problem. Yep, for um, sure. They got, you know, uh, number 10, Justin <laughs> Alexander who's one of the top defensive ends in the league. So they've got some really high-end players that uh, they are going to give us some trouble. But we have the uh, secret weapon, and that's the shark tank. Yeah, yeah. what do they get away with? Uh, what, the riot? Yeah. So, so uh, I mean, that's our goal, play in front of the best fans and the best uh, energy in the country, and, and that's a huge advantage. Yeah, I think so as well. Well, listen, I'm going to say that um, – I'd like to invite everybody out for Tuesday nights while we're recording this to Island Wing on Southside. This is where it happens. You get some great food like we got yeah. here. And uh, meet some of the other fans. We do giveaways. Players we're, are here. Players. We got great desserts. The wings are outstanding. First thing Coach does every time is come in and devour a plate of wings. I'm not talking and eat. Devour. <laughs> I was like, holy crap. Every time we're off camera, I'm kind of flipping over at him. They're still there. They're He's still got there. a love affair with the wings here. <laughs> we got to make sure we got to get it in. Make sure if the tickets for tonight's game, uh, you know, go to ticket, go to the Buy Star Arena or I don't you can call 706, was it 6210 700 for next week's home game. Yeah. By the time you're watching this, but make sure you give a call, shout out, and get your tickets. So, see you guys next week.